they have a lot of tough choices in the future. And um, I thought I could help, but not at the expense of their, them tearing, people tearing down my reputation. Tonight only on KDK, a local superintendent defending himself and his decision to pull out of the running for the same job in a different school district. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Jennifer Brasso broke that news on KDK TV News at 6 right before a school board meeting was about to begin. She's live now at the Chartiers Valley Administration Building with more on why some parents had opposed the potential hire. Jen. And Philip Martell says he was interested in this job here because it was closer to his home. But parents, community members, and the teachers union fought, and they won. Now, I spoke exclusively with Martell, who tells me he didn't want to come to a place where people already made up their minds about him. What was the impetus, do you think, that really was this, I'm, I'm done? Yeah, you know, I have thick skin, Jen. Like, I've dealt with these accusations and things over the years, so that really didn't factor in. I just don't want involved. Like, it's very hard to govern if you come in with the, with the, with the slate already being developed, right? In the face of organized opposition, Philip Martell withdrew his name from consideration as Chartiers Valley Superintendent. KDK broke the story an hour before the school board was supposed to meet and vote on whether to give him a five-year contract. Martell tells me he texted the board president. And I just said, this is not worth the expense of um, my reputation. Now, when we build a river valley and um, all the aggravation. Martell feels the process has gotten political. He felt attacked. But what I don't need is to get involved with partisan and union politics in the district. There was concern about Martell's lack of teaching experience and baggage from previous jobs. Former Fayette County District Attorney Richard Bauer confirms Martell resigned as superintendent in Connellsville back in 2017 after he was caught spending district money on political campaign signs. At a packed meeting, the solicitor announced the news. At this point, Mr. Martell has withdrawn his name and the board... Reaction from parents? Relief. We don't have any ill will towards him. He just was not a good fit for this district. I think that maybe he realized that we were a community that wasn't going to back down. That we were ready to stand up for our kids. School board member Ed Broski defended Martell, saying he was the best candidate. There could be all kinds of allegations about people, but what I, what I looked at is what he could have done for our school district because we are in dire straits on many fronts that people or just not admitting to. Martell tells me he's focused on his current job, superintendent at River Valley. He's in his first of five years there. I have a wonderful staff that believes me would go through fire for me. The district has had an interim superintendent since mid-March, and a spokesperson tells me she'll keep doing that job while the search for a new superintendent starts all over again. A new superintendent no word on when that search will start. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK-TV News.